YouTube, I messed up. I had just made this video, but I recorded with two mics on at once and destroyed the entire thing. Not only did I mess up there, but I panic sold the coon for whatever reason, I don't know. Well, I sold him for 240K, and last night I sold Tatis for 69K. Then I panic bought him back for 100K. Then I realized he's about to start falling off a cliff, so I sold him back. But I don't know what happened to Acuna. 70 overall. Tatis is teetering back and forth. I think this is going to be his price right here. He was just at 80K. Now he's at 87. I think this is going to be his nice, cool price right here. Okay, but today we're going to be going over the new content that just came out. It's just like how it was season one or Team Affinity one. <clears throat> you would you would go in, go in, you would turn in your showdown vouchers. It will get you 15 points. You then climb through the rankings, blah 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 blah, till you get to 150, and along the way you get all these awards. You know, same thing we did last time. They have moments for every single one. You get 10 TA points every moment, or for completing all the moments, you get 10 of them in total, not 10 each, 10 in total. Two, two, two. You know what I mean? You have the missions, you know? Same exact mission. You play with teams from these divisions, yada, yada, yada. You get points along the way. They also have player-specific missions. You know, you take a specific player that came out, get TA points. The most, effect, the most effective method, in my opinion, is just showdown. But I'm sure you guys all know that. Let's go over the new rewards. They came out with some 80 overalls. I'm not really going to go over many of them besides, like, the good ones. But I'm going to go over all the new high overall cards. This Cal Ripken I was going over, can he's like one of the, you know, better lefty hitter, great fielder, can hit against right, he's not with power though, real solid. Jimmy Fox is a real solid little Swiss army knife in positions that aren't too hot. Can hit against lefties as well, but has terrible defense. Lou Gehrig, I feel like they kind of cheated him out of some power, but great 125 contact. Shane McClanahan, Good fastball, decent arsenal of pitches, looks pretty good, and he's a lefty. Jordan Groshans looks like the best shortstop in my opinion, like by far the best all around. Really solid contact numbers, good power numbers, can hit both ways, great defense. Not the best fielding, still diamond defense. Hank Aaron, another card I feel like they kind of cheated out of some power. A lot of power, if you ask me. Good defense, though. Great contact against lefties. Edward Cabrera, a personal card I'm going to be getting as soon as I can. I need him in my bullpen. Me and him can do some amazing things. I already know. And he has outlier. Look at him on that sinker. Uh, a giant 6 0 Sanchez. Overall loss. Ronnie Mauricio. We want him. The bombing shortstop against righties. I feel like he's going to play really similar to Tatis, hopefully with a better swing. Oh, you guys can't see the speed step. Let me hold my, let me move my camera. I don't think I've gone over anybody that has good speed, to be fair. But I'll, I'll hide the, then we have 97 overall Cliff Lee, who looks insane. A lefty, high stamp, really high stamp, and a high case for nine. Decent hits for nine, decent home runs for nine. Great pitch in Arsenal, though. Jackson Rutledge, 97 overall. I mean, not 97 overall. Jackson Rutledge, good hits for nine, good fastball. Yeah, that's about it. Now in the AL Central, we got. Garrett Crochet or Crochet looks really good. Looks really, really good. Looks like the left-handed Michael Kopech that could play freaking small forward in the NBA right now. 102 Ks per nine, 97 nits per nine. Really good break. Not the best home runs per nine, but everything else was amazing, if you ask me. And he has a slider changeup, which I feel like is good enough. Not really a big fan of two scenes, but I feel like when you have outlier, it kind of just throws off their time. Jim Tome. Jim Tome, Tome, Tome. Don't pitch to him. That's all I can say about this card. Don't pitch to him. Unless you have a lefty, then have fun. Isaac Paredes. Can hit against lefties and righties just as well. And can play shortstop. So if you're a contact guy, it might be a great shortstop option. Johnny Norm Damon, 
125 contact against lefties. 112 power. I mean, 112 contact against righties. Wow. Jordan Belaza. No stats in the hundreds, but decent pitch arsenal. Not the NL Central. Mark Pryor. Mark Pryor. 95, 95 mile power pitch. Everything else is just slow and annoying to hit. 99 break. 109 Ks per nine. I can only imagine you were just chucking the slow ball. I and mean, then you just zing a fastball right down the freaking cuck. I can only imagine that high K per nine. This might be a really good pitcher. Johnny Bench. Johnny Bench. Don't know about Johnny Bench, but Johnny Bench got a nine bench can hit against lefties really well. Be careful if you have a lefty. Nice terrain. Shortstop, we like shortstops. 102 contact against lefties, no power. A typical shortstop. Quinn Preister. Looks pretty good. Preister. Sorry about what happened. Joe Ture, just the best contact hitting card in the game. I mean, if you like making contact with the ball, if you like laying wood on the ball, this is your guy right here. Especially if you, he's like a, a way better Jorge Posada, but can play more ALS. Roy Oswalt. Looks pretty good. 72 mile per hour curveball, 12 to 6. Change up slider, sinker, and fastball. Great at limiting home runs, not the best hits per nine. Really good. Tory Hunter. 117 contact against lefties, 93 contact against righties. Great defense. I feel like his arm should be a little. Robert Wallace. I don't know. Another typical shortstop. You know, great defense, great speed, good contact. Not really much power. Can't bunt for whatever reason. Edgar Martinez looks like a really great righty hitter. Really solid hitter. Not the best, but I would say he might be better than Don Mattingly, in my opinion. Sam Huff, a catcher I personally want. This is who I want right here at catch. Sam Huff, man. Can break both righties and lefties. I'm hoping he has a good swing. I'm about to get some showdown in really soon. And last but not least... We have the NL West. Brandon Webb, which I'm sure most of you guys have already seen. Looks pretty cool. It's kind of annoying to hit. Dante Bichette, or Bichet, who looks just absolutely insane. 125 power against, I mean, 125 contact against lefties. 100 contact against righties. 105 power and 95 power. That's just amazing. That's just amazing. And he can steal bases with the 70 speed. Okay. Josiah Gray looks pretty good. 79 curveball, 87 changeup. Tony Gwynn, Tony Gwynn, another one of the contact hitters, 125 both ways. I mean, if you just want to get on base, this is your guy right here. And then Willie Mays, I personally hate his swing. I hate it more than I hate a lot of things in this game. Like, it's terrible. I don't even want to look at it, to be honest, guys. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know down below who you're interested in. Let me know down below who you're going to be grinding for first. Me personally, I'm going to be going for that 6 though remake card. Whoever that pitcher was, I'm going for him. That'll do it for this video, and I'm going to catch you on the next one.